Hello and welcome to another day in the life. This is Mike. So I decided I'd um, go another tool I'm deciding to share uh, that I recently learned was uh, this placing spline on decal tool that I uh, built by hand. I was admittedly following a tutorial by, I believe his name is uh, Native uh, Hecklesman. I will share uh, his uh, details in his channel in the description below. But um, that being said, I followed the tutorial like step by step for the most part. Um, just kind of like picking up and um, learning the things that um, the guy was uh, teaching me about placing splines on a um, placing decals on splines. And once I was done, I ended up with uh, this sort of result. And uh, although it is doing the thing that I needed to do, um, it is missing some components that I felt were uh, important for uh, the project that I needed, right? So before, if I had uh, um, moved the decal along the spline, I would kind of just get this um, this pattern. And I didn't really have too much to, um, hadn't didn't have much in the department of adjusting the decal in any way, right? And of course, as you can tell, it's kind of like sitting improperly, right? So this video is kind of kind of go over what I did to kind of make it work for um, for the needs of my project, right? He also had in his project like a specific add-on that um, worked for his project to kind of make thing make detail decals alternate. I didn't really need that, so I didn't add it. But it's just an example of being able to make adjustments um, based off of yeah, based off of the need of your project. Not really like knocking him or anything, but this uh, the original build didn't have what I needed, so I went in and made those adjustments. So let's get into it. So what we ended up doing, um, what we ended up needing for my project is a the thing is clearly um, the decal is clearly not sitting the way I needed it to, right? So what did I end up doing? I ended up adding specific variables to the blueprint in order to. Um, get the results that I need, right? So this was the original, um, mostly the original build. Um, this was the um, the script needed to place um, the spline and make it snap to the surface, which is really good. Uh, it works for um, uneven terrain, so it'll place the decal appropriately. Um, but then we get into how the decal actually is spawned um, on the spline, right? So uh, this is mostly making sure the um, the spline or the decal is a specific um, size and offset on the initial, which is fine. That's perfect. Um, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. But the problem arised when it came down to um, spawning the specific detail decal I need, right? So uh, when it came down to adding the decal, initially it was just um, this variable or this um, component here, right? We had like a project scale, uh, um, a project scale, and then like a decal scale, which kind of uniformly adjusted these. What I ended up doing is A, I ended up adding a, um, a, um, a uniform scale Boolean. So that way I can control whether or not it's going to be a uniform scale like so, or it's going to be, um, I wanted them to move independently because like, I don't know, uh, as I've kind of looked for various uh, decals um, from Quixel or from other places, I've kind of learned that like not all decals are created equally. Some of them are uh, flipped a certain way or some of them uh, 
work better at a different size. So I wanted to have those independent scales available to me. So I added in variables to make these um, scale at different sizes. And like I said, the um, if you look at the original uh, setup, it's clearly like facing the wrong direction, right? Um, so I added in a variable to adjust how it is um, rotated, right? So ch -ch 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 -ch, here's the rotation here that goes up um, here. But as you can see, initially it was just set to a specific, um, it just had a specific like number like plugged straight into it. But instead, I promoted this to like a variable and added um, rotation on Y. So that way I could flip the, um, uh, so that way I could flip the, the decal any uh, direction I need. The decal is still facing um, down for the most part, but I wanted to add in um, facing the ground. That's how it's kind of been built. But I wanted to add in the ability to rotate them independently if I needed to, right? So this is what the result ended up being, right? So go over here. This is the one that I ended up making so that way, uh, A, you can kind of tell it's, it's rotated the right direction, but I also added in the ability to independently adjust um, these various aspects of the decal so it will work to my needs, right? So um, right now the decals aren't going in the right direction, right? So let's adjust the uh, rotation. Originally, the rotation was just set um, on this one. It was um, just a base. It was just set at like 90, right? But I needed it to rotate the other direction. So it was facing like upward, right? Or fit like, I don't know, so it could display correctly. So on this, as you can see, I set up a, a uh, rotation on it so we can do that right or um, to make it like display properly or we can set the uh, Z rotation which is the one we need to make sure they're all aligned appropriately so we could set it to 180 like and these aren't like amazing changes I'm not gonna sit here and say like oh my god, I'm a genius, right? But it's just after building the, watching the video and building the script, um, I ne realized that I needed very, I needed, I wanted these controls available to me. So based on what I learned, I just exposed these variables so I could, uh, so I can make these adjustments, right? It's kind of just like, oh, hey, I watched a little tutorial and I learned a thing, but I need more. And the tutorial showed me how to make these things. So let's uh, add in these adjustments, right? So I also have it switch to determine whether or not it's going to be a uniform scale or a um, ZY scale. So um, right now we could just change uh, the projection scale. So it's just going straight up and down. So if there's any um, weird interaction with like the height of the landscape, I can compensate for that, right? But also there's like the uniform um, decal scale, which is off right now. So if we turn this on, it adjusts accordingly, right? So just in case you want it uniform, which originally that's how it was, you can set the switch to have it be uniform. But in this case, um, if you look at the uh, decal, it's kind of squashed, right? So I decided that I would um, add in that, uh, that option to choose that it's specifically um, scaling independent Y and independent Z, right? So let's see, we're gonna do that. 
and that feels that feels better. It's still a little squished, but uh, right. And as you can see, there's some overlap here. Maybe you don't want that overlap. This was added in into the original, right? Since so I saw that the original had like an offset uh, scalar, right? Um, since I figured it had an offset scalar, I was just like, well, there's no reason why I shouldn't have um, an independent Y and Z scale um, if you could just set what the offset is going to be, right? So there you go. And now they're spread out a certain way appropriately, right? So, or in a fashion that looks good. So yeah, that is what I learned. I learned how to make a um, a spline be projected across a uh, well, a decal be projected on a spline. But I also learned how to add in some custom adjustments to the spline that I needed, right? Or to the um, to the construction script, right? So. Um, and yeah, just wanted to just wanted to share that. I thought that was pretty cool. I was pretty happy with myself. Pretty happy with the work I did. I'm easily entertained, as you can see. <laughs> I'm easily proud of my small accomplishments. Anyways, that's it. That's all I wanted to show. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.